Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Seb's SMS. Guys, as usual, I'm sending you a message. You better catch it. Sebastian, that song is now very much the angler file in one session. Send me SMS. I'm sending you a message. You better catch it. But when it comes to the football, oh, you hit you guys. Yo, what's happening? What's going on into your world? Wagwan, go on? How you say it over here? I hope you're well. I hope you're good, guys. Honestly, I hope you, you're pumped up. You got energy. Saturday morning session. Another episode. Let's go. Let's go to try. Not even try. We don't try. We execute. Let's go to execute another level. Let's go to reach another step. So this week, Saturday morning, what are we talking about? We're going to talk about, that's what I call the internal dialogue. The internal dialogue. As you all know, I, may, I don't know if all of you are aware of it, but for most of you, you are. But you're going to be aware of it even more because I'm going to mention it. It's what we call a blind spot, right? You got a voice talking into your head. And that voice is <laughs> pretty annoying, right? We got a voice into our head who never stops. Those of you who don't believe me, just keep quiet a little bit and you're gonna have that voice talking to you, telling you that you ain't got no voice. That voice, sometimes we don't even know how to deal with it. Let me tell you something, breaking news. Ba -ba -ba. That voice will never disappear. That voice is always going to be there. So don't try to shut it off or you know to keep it quiet you can't no, this is not possible but you are the one who is who is listening you the audience stop wondering if what the voice is saying reflect to who you are maybe oh, it's, maybe this is me oh, i don't know i can't figure myself out no listen to me you just here to listen to the voice but how do you or how can you reduce the impact of the voice? Have you ever noticed that that voice is always negative or rarely positive? For most of the people, majority of the people, that voice is always negative. When you're on your way to a meeting, you're already playing the meeting. The question and the answers. Question answers, but on your own, you're talking to yourself. But have you ever noticed that that voice is kicking in even more when you subject to a stress or something that you know that you're not sure about? This is when the dialogue, the internal dialogue start, you know, increasing. Freezing. All I'm trying to tell you, for my fellow bowlers, for my athletes, and for other people, leave that voice alone. I want you to take control. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, you know, now nah, maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. Yeah, the more you're telling yourself that you can't sleep, <laughs> the least you're going to sleep. But I want you to be aware of that voice. And I want you to, you know what? Take the control back. Especially in the football game. Oh, oh I've lost the first ball. I'm not going to shoot. Oh, you know what? I'm going to play it short. I'm going to play it safe. Ah, oh, I made a mistake. No, no, what the manager's gonna think? You don't know that. This is the internal battle that you have. It. And I want you to be aware that, okay, I'm in control. My voice is only in my head. But whenever your voice is telling you something negative, I want you to talk back to your voice with something very, not aggressive, but something very mean, meaningful, like, no. I can do it. Don't let your voice bring you down. Don't let your voice take you down. Because if you let that voice take the better of you, you're not gonna be able to achieve anything because that voice is constant. That voice is never gonna shut up. So what are you gonna do? I want you to be aware of that on the pitch, before a game, before anything, when you're on your way to the game or on your way to see your manager or your boss, stop playing you know, the conversation already. You know what? I'm a master of that. When I'm in some situation, I start, you know, thinking about, okay, he's gonna say this, and I'm making the conversation, I'm like, Seb, hold on a minute, bomb that, because that's not even there yet. I don't, I can't predict what's gonna happen, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. Leave that voice saying what she wanna say, but I want you to, as soon as that voice is putting a doubt into you, on the pitch, if you do a mistake, and I've, you know, I've scored, I've scored own goals, I've honestly, I've done some crazy mistakes, you always got that sensation, that feeling when you're alone, you feel alone and you got that voice talking to you. This is the split second that I, when I want you to take the control back. This is my challenge of the day. I want you to talk. When that voice is start, you know, hammering you with negativity, you need, even if you need to talk out loud, you need to talk back to that voice straight. No, I'm gonna get back into the right side. It's been difficult for me, but as soon as I've been aware of that, I've been able to come back from some dark situation, even in the game, some situation where, oh, I didn't start the game well. And that voice is telling you it's gonna be a long game. No, listen, they still got 80 minutes to go. So I still got 
plenty of time to turn it around. And that's what I want you to get, this mindset, this mental toughness. But I want you to be aware of that voice, this internal dialogue. If you're gonna have a dialogue with yourself, I want you to, to end up on the right side. I want you to be the winner of that dialogue. Don't let that voice beat you, you get me? This is my challenge of the day. When you get onto that pitch, what we're we doing? We take what's ours, you take what's yours. I want you to be fearless. I want you to go for it. Be conscious of that voice talking to you. And you know what? This is another challenge. Don't let that voice beat you. So today, when you get onto that piece, that rectangle, green rectangle, represents your life. I want you to go into your life, not tiptoeing. I want you to go full pace into your life that belongs to you. So guys, when that voice is kicking, bash it off. And you're gonna be the winner of that dialogue because the strength, the power, the success, the inner peace, that's what we're looking for. The inner peace, the joy. We don't only take it like that because we shy. No, 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 we don't only take it. We snatch it, guys, we snatch it. That was your homeboy, Seb Basson, aka Baby Bass. Guys, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Be a champion, because I know you are. Next week, bye-bye.